Hey, hey there, Scorpio. This is Joy with Joy of the World, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below. It is free as always. And if any of you would like to be notified when I post new videos, ring that little bell out beside the subscribe and you will be notified. Hey, share because you care. Give it a big thumbs up. Like, share with your friends, your peeps, your whoever's, your whatever's, whichever sign. It doesn't matter, baby. We have a little zodiac. We tune in for these energy sessions here to help us level out and those around us to level up as well. Because as we go up, it makes the world better, brighter, bolder, and more beautiful for us all. And I want you to be happy and satisfied inside and out, wherever you are. Even if we never meet, it makes my world a better place. So for now, let's see what is going on. There's a little bit of tea card coming out, which hasn't been coming out for everybody. I can say that, but for you, Scorpio, it preceded the read. And there was the Knight of Swords, the swords coming in. It's like you with your lightsaber, your lightsaber truth, your sexual saber, your treasury saber. You're on the lookout. You are on the hunt. Because if you look up closely, wow, that's wild. In the lens, he looks like he's looking directly at us. But when I look at him here, he's looking forward, looking ahead eye on the prize, out for the adventure, chasing down life. And it's not, in this case, it's not like chasing a butterfly because chasing a butterfly, it will elude you. It will continue to go out before you like a dangling carrot, okay? Um, but in this case, he's riding on the back of this seagull. And seagulls can be very friendly. I call them little gully womps. They show up here all over the beach and they'll come and they'll be curious and they'll look at you. So this is a bit of curiosity, pursuing your curiosity here. You want to touch the clouds and see... Do they feel like what you think? Some sensual delight there, baby, because that's what your sword is telling me. That is the sacral chakra sword, and that doesn't just mean sexuality or intimacy. It has to do with our somatic system. It has to do with our sense of smell, all of our senses honing and coming together into the sixth sense, the sense of pleasure, y'all. It isn't ASP. It didn't get all stirred up, hairs up on the back of your neck, all creeped out, like, woo, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. No, it's like, mm, I'm going to stir something up. I'm feeling like stirring something up, and we're stepping into Halloween, aren't we? Which is a blue moon. It's a blue moon that hasn't been around 19 years. Full moon on Halloween night. And what you got to say about that, baby? You're like dolphin hammock bell. You're saying, baby, you could ring my bell, take you back to my place. You better stop it, Scorpio. I don't know who's out there getting sauced up, but you are. It's a little bit more than that. It's a little bit deeper. So let's take a peek. This has to do with the sun rising, the golden sun, which is a financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So it's about reaping the rewards and the benefits of who you are and how you've applied yourself daily, where you've taken the leap of faith, where you've stepped on out. That's what you're pursuing. You're like, I'm chasing down dreams, joy. I'm like, Mwah! more power to you, Scorpio. I love that you have your eye on the prize because you are the king, the queen of the eyes. The alignment, right, of not only awakening our chakras, empowering our chakras, but connecting and dividing with the world around us, activating our amnios, the amness of who we are, our rights and our entitlements, our privilege of who we are in our zodiac sign, who we divined ourselves to be before we landed here. That brings in the hammock. You're like, oh, wait, Joy, take a vacation for a minute because that's what it's talking about. It's like, stop, hold up, back up. Let's see what we got. So over here beside us, if you're wondering, everything's all clean and ready to go. So you can just nab and grab as you want because cards talk way too fast at this high top counter. But this is the massive deck that came in on one of the Magic Mondays. And just FYI, if you're new here, Magic Mondays and Freaky Fridays, Fancy Fridays, you know, Fantastic Fridays, whatever they are, that's not just like a prediction of the day. That's another energy session, two more, matter of fact, offered to you for that week to help you tune in for your week and help you tune in for the weekend, baby. We want you leveled up here and assured and confident walking out and your fantastic self. So here we have coming in, this is in the body, in the physical sphere, landing, putting a pin, a map point here on earth for you, Scorpio, and it's 44. Talking about divine union, and this is like, like Metatron sandal fun type energy, and just so you know, they're eternal flames. They are bond and unite of the heart, of the mind, of the soul, chosen to come together 
to do this overcoming work, and this has a lot to do. Oh, I love it. I love it. Jacqueline Truth. Very much, pardon me, y'all. Let me, let me make that quiet. Very much Scorpio energy because Pluto is your planet. It resonates on that. I'll bring it down in order to rise up. If something is in my way, I'll bring it down. And like that must be where I get the phrase from a bit Scorpionic energy of mine is I will step over my own dead body if I have to. Even I will not get in my own way. I'll follow this way of truth. I'll follow my instincts, my gut knowing what I've been knowing all along that I couldn't put a finger or a word to because that's very uh, plutonic energy as well is it, it surpasses even just the gut. It goes back into the unseen realm, not the unknown, the unseen. That's where you're talking about being an instinct about from the lower realms of yourself because that's where the stars are shining and collecting and gathering. And this is a field of dreams you got going on here, baby. Speak your truth. And this is you about being self-assured, confident, bold, stepping forward in your power. It ain't coming at your mouth because look what's on your head. Look at that divine truth on your head. Talk about underworld rising up. You're like, my underwear is on my head. My underworld, my netherworld be rising up. And he's like straight up. Because look at the arc down there inverted. Turning your world upside down, shaking out some dreams from the piggy bank. You're ready to cash in on a few, and you're like, now, nah, do it. Step into the hammock. You're like, I have a hammock full. I have a whole taste handful dipping in to my dreams, taking a vacation physically or mentally, because that's what this is about. This authority is on your head. You've already sown the seeds, and now it's time to be receptive to have the influx of the beauty, the passion, the life, the joy coming in. You are asking for a Mary L, but I do see that the new deck, the true heart, will be talking. That y'all, when I turn around and I face this camera, they kind of start scooching the deck around and making things move. And I turn back and I'm like, oh, all right, all right. So I can tell they'll be talking a bit. Tell us a little bit about Scorpio's jackal here and this hammock energy, this hammock of stars, this field of dreams about, you know, shaking them out, turning your world upside down, cashing in, four of cups. This is about abundance, baby. This isn't like, you know, it is pie in the sky, but it's not something that is beyond you. It's taking the impossible and bringing it down into the realm where it manifests, thus in the body realm, okay? So you brought it on down, and this is something that's going to overtake you. It's things that you sowed in good faith, that you sowed in complete trust, that you sowed with complete abandon. Like, you, you gave it, you did it, and then you moved on. All right, and that's the thing. That's why it's having to chase you down. It's going to overtake you. It's going to overwhelm you in a good way. It's going to overjoy you. Um, you're going, your cup is going to overflow. Okay, so let's see. We got Cosmic Tarot over here. There's something. There's a divide going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they were looking a little funny, y'all. They were looking a bit like, like this, a bit of a, a stair step going on. So I'm taking the bottom of the top, bottom of the top. Look at you. You're like, turn upside down, Joy. Shake our dreams out with that cosmic tarot. And I'm like, four of swords and what is on the bottom but the wheel, the wheel of fortune. And you know that's what our zodiac is here. That is what we teach at this channel. Our zodiac wheel is the wheel of fortune. And we need to learn how to turn it through work and through play, through rest and restoration. I'm going to just bring that one out and bless ourselves right on up here since we're talking about these dreams, these stars shaking out. out. Now, what we had at the bottom at the top, baby, was six of wands. You know which one you choose. You choose the victory, the victory of the heart. And this is you um, definitely in some seeds of love, some seeds of expansion in love. The authority and the power that you have there being calm, cool, and collected. And this isn't any more of like a disguise, calm, cool, and collected like... You know, behind there, there's a little bit of like CDI going on or some nervousness or some anticipation. No, this is very much like open up like a performance, like I'm prepared, I'm ready, I'm good to go. Like you're leading and initiating it. And I like that, Scorpio. You know how much people are drawn and attracted to you. And so that's people ending up on you. And then you're led about by their energy, moving through your energy, your beauty, your deliciousness, your divine self. So you're letting me know because this was the one that was right under it, right? The top of the bottom. At the top of the bottom, we have the Four of Swords, the laying it down, the laying it to rest, the laying down that you're having me put it face down. That's interesting. I love you. 
you're laying down the dry hump and through the desert. That's that's the way he said it. Cause you see this. Stop. Leave your comments down below. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Like, yay, Joy, speak a girl. You see this camel off in the shadows? You talk about through drop and through this desert. Like camels having to go dry. How long, how many weeks, how many days they have to hold their water, right? And have to reabsorb it in. They can't even have the refreshment of the coolness of the wetness moving down the throat of the pleasure that affords us in our humanity. Remember very much these seeds going on through here that it has to be unnatural and abnormal and adaptive to that environment and always having to carry the burdens of other people. Mm. That's why I love you two is you. You two is you. You're fine, fantastic. So, and look at all that juicy gold. Look at all that juicy gold. And that's where Jupiter's showing up. This other people <laughs> dry humping your camel ass through the desert. <laughs> <laughs> to carry their burdens to get where they need to go because you can handle it and make it easier on them to get there. <laughs> that's diminished. That's over it. That's laid down. That's put to rest. And the one you're having me put it face down is looking like this, y'all. Oh my God, I love you so much. I'm glad I went with it. I'm embarrassed, but it was so funny. It was a good kind. It was a good kind. It was a good kind. Okay. So now I'm going to take these right off the top because they are literally just laying off like this. I don't know how many there were. Okay, definitely two right now. That third one's going to talk later. I'm going to stay and take a look at the bottom. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set them off the side for later. So right now, um, coming in under our Knight of Swords that we have this instinct of following your passions of following your dreams of chasing them down we have a reiteration y'all if you didn't get the first time late uh four swords no more dry humping through the desert carrying other people's burdens being worn out being made into who they want you to be now that's being left behind y'all tell your scorpio friends i need scorpio to tune in here and show support and love for this channel because i love you so much you push me to places inconceivable but this is about you rising up from that old day and that old way and not having to be plagued by those things and not that the crows are the plagues they are the harbingers of those types of difficulties diseases those things pushing in these fronts these elements of change and often uh, abrupt change so it's a good sign here it's an abrupt change moving into very much the this is like salmon it's even above the high heart it's like the high heart becoming your body. It's when you step into the fleshness and he's reiterating it. Jackal is reiterating it here right now, talking and pushing forth that truth with the power and the presence of your mind. Okay, Pluto is so on your side with this. It's like no more death and resurrection, that type of power. You are here being raised to new life into yourself, into your divine victory. You are the victory. You are the star. You are the the chosen one, the power, the passion, the pattern, the rhythm of life, okay? The rhythm God gets you, babe. So what this does is it's like leaving. I can't even pick it up because it's like face down. It's done. Remember that other four, a swan that dropped up and through the desert. Talk about another desert. You're being elevated, sucked out of that nightmare, that daydream, that oasis, that mirage, that false image coming into this truth of the now. And you're just bypassing it surpassing it and you're stepping into those clouds that remember you're wanting to touch here you were wanting to touch here so now you've invited in the energy of that possibility of that possibility and we're about to find out what that is because it came out in a pair here we have uh, we have the two of cups now forgive me for not remembering their name at this moment brain into give but this is the Taj Mahal he built it for his love and their divine everlasting love. This is a divine pair, divine everlasting love. And it's in the early stages. The two of cups doesn't mean, oh, it could, you know, it's, it's weak. It's not necessarily strong. It's kind of like tethered or, or feathery or just like insignificant. It's not at all. This is definitely the blossoming and the budding. Can you see it coming along? Can you see the facets of life and how easily you're going to stair step through the channels to build this foundation together, to build this everlasting love? You even have the, uh, the pencil cypress going on right behind you and the patterns and the repetition in the gardens. There's so much rhythm and divinity that is built in this in, in either of y'all's paths because 
this is what she's been through, the road that she's tread and what she's built with her life. And this is the road that he has built, okay? So whichever one you are here, Scorpio, this is you and your love coming into this space and into this place. And you are a pillar of faith. You need to know that. You are a pillar of faith, a pillar of fulfillment, of having been to the deep, dark places and being able to ward off evil. Now, what is evil? Let me show you. This is in one of my plans. Might be a little dirty. Forgive that, too. My son, my oldest one, when he was, I don't know, maybe four, maybe five, he was looking over the counter at me, and I was writing down live. And he said, Mommy, that word is evil backwards. Can you see? Okay. So, really, we can get all in the do 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 the heaviness of evil and Halloween. Hello. When you got your life backwards, if you're trying to think you're going that way, but you're looking in reverse, it's just some confusion, some things turned upside down in not good kind of way, not getting to where you want to go, not um, experiencing the deliverance, and you're saying not, 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 not. It makes knots out of everything, but not anymore, not here. You survived and you come through, and you have won the trump card. Not only that, you are decorated with a finery of that life. Life has awarded you and rewarded you for traveling through those channels and coming out pure of heart. I see this cost and over here, these are some little ones I'd be cooking up right now. And it says, I am ready for what? Okay, over here. You ready for this? You ready for this bell, the announcement? Some of you gonna be ringing the bell of love. I mean, going to the chapel, baby. Look at that house, that dwelling place, that fine love that you have for one another. The commitment and the devotion, y'all have chosen each other, it's obvious here. It's obvious here, you've not only chosen each other, you've chosen yourself individually. Like in the choosing of yourself, you've chosen each other as well. So talk about a foundation for a commitment. Talk about something that fleshes out and brings out the fullness of life, the fullness of the promise, the divine divinity of your chart. So the announcement's laying right over that. Okay, so we have these two cards sitting over here. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're bringing in the moon and the princess of discs. We're tying into somebody else's reading here. Well, they're all yours. Remember, baby, there's this reading from earlier this week about the prince and the princess. Again, another sign of newness, right? Of this innocent heart, of this sweet new beginning, of having the courage to invest yourself, excuse me, in another soul. You're talking about the soul of the earth. Look at this reiteration, y'all. First time this moon card has come out in this deck. Look at this reiteration, okay? So they're kind of like rocket ships. They're obelisks. Look. Do you see it? This is you guys. Y'all have gone beyond the wound. You've gone beyond the challenge of, you know, are we human? Are we spiritual? Are we walking in the divine? We, no, you've merged. You've come into the fullness, the full pinnacle. Because this is not just a triunity. This is divine order. Okay, because it is a, a full-on pyramid, not just a triangle, okay? So you've crossed the cosmic waters to the other world, and you've brought it back here. So this is weaving back down into this, and it's letting us know on earth as it is in heaven. This divine marriage, this divine union, this divine partnership is the will of the cosmos. It has been divine all along, and this is reiterating, remember, the coming together of Metatron and Sandalphon, the eternal flames. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Standing guard. Protecting the gate of life. I could say talk about a tall order, but no. No, you ready, baby. You are prepared. And along with that moon is this princess of discs. You've been on the long journey already. There's not much left to go. There's one more tiny bond. To be removed one tiny little thing it's only what's necessary is what remains only what's necessary that's what they're reiterating so it's just it's just one little thing and you can't we're gonna find out what that is that let's just go there let's go there who are we talking to who are we talking to we're talking to the pit man let's go on in to these guys tell us about that one little okay is there anything okay um, what? Okay, fine. <laughs> I told you, y'all, they come on out and at the bottom. Mm. Ain't no mama said knock you out. Mm, mm, mm. No interference here. 
Now, you're wanting to know, is this ethereal? Is this going to be, remember, spirit and earth, spirit and earth? There's no way you've already crossed these waters. This has already been crossed by each of you individually. I can't say you've totally met yet. Your energy fields may be nearby each other. They may be down the street. You know, they may be arriving where you live in a month. I don't know. Okay? Maybe their child goes to school where your child goes to school or, or their sister works where you work. I don't even know. But... It's definitely coming down to this planet. It's coming down to Earth. It's time and it's ready to inhabit. You're talking about pull the plug. What plug? Now, mind you, there are two more cards face down, so let's find out what plug. So when you go this way, you're wanting this one first. Interesting, which is the bottom. <laughs> That's so funny. I love these cards, y'all. I've got four more decks coming in, but they've been like on an eight-week order to get them here. I love cardamancy. So that's what's coming in. Anyways, look at that. You're dislodging the anchor. You had anchored and tethered your soul to a certain key, to a certain fob. It's almost like you were on a certain set of keys. Mm. Change in locations, changing keys, some of you, new car, new house, maybe even a new locker at the gym. I don't know. But something about changing of the keys, and they're like, the keys, Joy, the keys. What are we changing the keys? What are we changing the keys for Scorpio? Where where are you at? Talk to me. Mm -mm, that one was rejected, so talk to me, please. It's these that are not looking at us. Well, some of you, I got to tell you, you straight up. I'm going to just say it like it is because I speak to the men and the women here. Okay? So this is that partner. It says younger man, but it's younger man or woman because I have men and women that tune in here dealings or relationships with someone who is younger than you. You're like bringing the guy. You got to pull the plug, Joy. You got to let go of that anchor, what you've been bound to, those ideas, those very higher fence energy. And they're, they're ugly clouds. Not, I love gray clouds, baby. I love the rain, a cozy pajama day, a little hot tea and make it all good, call it good. But no, this is raining down a whole new energy. These are things that were beating you up. These mindsets and ideas of other people. And like, Psh. that's what we think of that, Joy. That's what he's coming along. He's like, Psh. sorry, y'all. Say it. Don't spray it. That is what you're dislodging here. And that's what helps you to breathe. It gives you the breathing room to be who you really are. To embrace, because that's interesting. This person, this younger person is coming in under the hammock. To embrace this love connection coming on in. Here's some love hammock, y'all. My friend was telling me about one of her friends the other day. I'm like, ah, roll up, hold up. And that has to do, okay, that's, I think that's off point there. That's what was not facing you, what you're not dealing with, is it's time to get out of a situation. A, a, a critical situation, something where um, you've been criticized. You've been being criticized. It's almost like, Instead of somebody noticing the full beauty of you are, it's taking me back to Beauty and the Beast and how her little cup her had, had a chip, right? And instead of noticing the entire beauty of you, they notice the flaw. Step out of that, friend. Step out of that. That is knocking you over and spilling your contents and exhausting, wasting, squandering your beautiful energy. That's for those of you who weren't facing a deal with something because you're like, I want to be here, I want to be here. I'm like... Built. Let's get rid of that. And in comes this, this younger person. What's behind it is this. Sorry about the bright lights, y'all. I'm working up, but I can't put it right in my eyes. It hurts. So it's talking about somebody who's very complimentary. Somebody who's fulfilling. They're beautiful. They blossom. They're, they, uh, their face lights up when they see you. They're easy to converse with. They, they're easy to conjugate with. Come together with in many facets and forms, all right? There's someone who's open to you. Their wheel of fortune, a divine wheel. And we got one more right here. So let's take one more look. Mm, mm, mm. Very much the wheel. Knowing when to work, when to play. Knowing when to roll up your sleeves and when to put on your Rolex. They know how to dress up and dress down. And yes, Jackal is over here going, and do they know how to undress? Joy, I'm like, mm -hmm, they do. They do. They got dolphin energy. They know how to play. And they know how to pray, y'all. They know how to be that, remember that that spirit and that earthly form all at the same time right here on earth. Cosmically achieving. And this is the two of y'all making the kaleidoscope eyes coming together into beautiful life. Man, Scorpio. Oh, if you didn't bring it, I don't know who did. I don't know what to title this, but just click on it. Share the love. Share the feel. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear from you. 
I'd love to have you color my world with your love, with your experience, and with your successes. That is what we are here for. This is Joy. Same bye for now. I love you.